in our line of work, we are lucky to be surrounded with dogs. At iba ang saya pag maraming puppies. Kaya pag yung isang puppy, nagtapos ng training with us, sa susunod na balik niya, iba na ang hitsura. Hindi natin namamalayan yung mga puppies natin, malalaki na pala. Tapos, ilang taon lang, senior dogs na. From the day they are born, ang bilis ng developmental period nila, both physical, mental, and behavioral. For newborn puppies, life is all about sleeping and eating. This happens on the first two weeks. At their second week, they begin to see, hear, and walk. At this point, we can introduce objects such as cloth with our scent on it. Yung mga safe na gamit sa bahay, yung pwedeng ibigay, pwedeng ipaamoy, or pwedeng ipalaro. Ang importante ay masanay na sila sa handling at this stage. On their third week, ito yung tinatawag na awareness period. They cannot use their senses fully. However, they will start playing with their litter mates. Punong-puno ng sensory development ang panahon na ito. Ang pwede natin gawin ay ipasubok sa kanila ang mga iba't ibang klase ng surfaces like wood, cemento, tile, linoleum. Pero ingatan natin na huwag ma-overload ng sensory information ng mga tuta. Tandaan, lahat ng sobra, masama. After the awareness period comes the canine socialization period. The puppies learn some behaviors from their mom and litter mates like facial expressions, body language. They also learn to chase, bark, and they start mouthing or magnat-ngat. And this is when they learn bite inhibition from their litter mates. Humans can start with positive reinforcement training. The breeders, on the other hand, will play an important role. Kasi kailangan niyang bantayan ang mga puppies as they have more interactions with each other and with their mother. Sa panahon na ito, pwede na rin i-introduce ang crate training. Next, we have human socialization period. This is the stage when they are able to form bonds with their humans. At this stage, they can now be rehomed to their new families. This is a crucial stage kasi kung ano man ang makatraumatize sa kanila ay pwede nila dalhin for the rest of their lives. Pero kahit fear period ito, kailangan natin sila tulungan ma-expose sa mga bagay, mga pangyayari at makasalamuha ang mga iba-ibang klasing tao at mga aso. Sabi nga ni Dr. Ian Dunbar, at 12 weeks, ang mga tuta ay dapat nakasalamuha na o nakakita na ng mga 100 people. We need to make sure that when we expose them to all these things, kasama na ang mga iba't ibang sounds, we must build positive associations. Kung complete na ang bakuna ng mga tuta, they can join group classes. At 10 to 16 weeks ay ang seniority classification period. Magsisimula na maging pasaway ang mga tuta as they become more independent. Some puppies will try to test you and they become more mouthy. This is a normal puppy stage. We just need to go continue training them. Here's a training tip. Make sure that your puppies will only get your attention, treats, or affection pag maganda ang pinapakita nila. At 4 months, mas lalo magngangat-ngat ang mga tuta. Pwede din na di ka nila papansinin pag tinatawag sila. Dapat itago ang mga hindi pwede itchew ng dogs. Pwede din itali or create ang mga dogs pag hindi nababantayan. Bigyan ng appropriate toys to keep them occupied. Ang mga dogs na akala natin sanay na sa mga tao, sa mga aso, sa mga iba't ibang bagay, pwedeng magkaroon ulit ng adjustment period. Naalala ko si Serena nung maliit pa siya. Akala ko she's well socialized. Then napansin namin for some reason may tinatahulan siya. And it's always the same person na dumadaan, si kuya na nakasaklay or crutch. Hindi sanay si Serena. Siguro ang iniisip niya, bakit ganyan ka maglakad? Ang weird mo naman. So whenever Kuya passes by, we give Serena treats. Pag nakita niya siya, and we try to develop a positive association. Unti-unti hanggang hindi niya na tinatahulan si Kuya. This fear period is easy pag nagawa natin ang mga socialization exercises at the early stages. We need to make sure that we properly socialize our dog and then create positive associations with their experiences. 
We need to be cautious kasi ang mga negative or reactive behavior patterns can form at this stage at pwede nila ito dalhin hanggang sa pagtanda. Ang importante ay huwag parusahan o masyadong pagalitan ng mga aso pag natakot sa isang bagay. Some dog breeds continue to grow. Yung mga negative behaviors na hindi natin naagapan in the earlier stages ay mas mapapansin. This is the reason why our puppy programs are only applicable to puppies younger than 6 months. At this point, marami sa mga aso na hindi na-train ng maaga or na-socialize ng maaga. At this point, almost all the cases na natatanggap namin sa mga dogs na hindi masyado na-socialize ay nagkakaroon na ng behavior problems. Yun iba, nagiging reactive. Yun iba naman, meron ng konting aggression. Comparing to younger puppies na mas madali ng maturuan, training never stops. Kaya kahit na adult na ang ating mga aso, we still need to train them. We need to try to spend time with them. Try to get as much interaction and continue providing enrichment games. If possible, go on a road trip or bring them to the beach. Of course, it doesn't end here. Sunod dito ay adulthood and the senior stage na. But we can discuss this on another video. Meron ilang nagsasabi that life is short. Pero sa dogs, life is shorter. How old are your dogs? Are you on track with your training? Meron ba kaming nakalimutan sa video na ito? Or meron kayong comment o baka meron kayong idea na gusto nyong i-discuss namin sa mga future videos? Please leave a comment below and hit on the notification icon so you get notified with our latest uploads. Thank you for watching!